All right, guys. Today's experience takes me to an abattoir. If you live in Lagos and you live in Nigeria generally, you might be curious to know where your meat produce comes from. Today, I'll take you on an adventure to an abattoir where the killing, the butchering, and sales is being done. All right, then. Okay, so if you're just joining me, welcome to my channel. My name is Boss Lady Diana, and you're on to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Is what okay. I met A day at the abateur is like a day in any other organization. Individuals resume there very early in the morning to carry out the day task and earn a decent living. The abattoir is sectioned. There are sections for slaughtering, sections for cleaning up, sections for the sale directly to the users. I spoke with Mr. Ahmed Popola and he explained to us the various parts of the animal. It is what we call liver. Animals. Okay. Head on. 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 This one is Abodi. Abodi. Okay. This one is Abodi. We have like three types of Abodi. Okay. This one is the one that we need to have one. This one has another one. Okay. And this is another one. This one is long one. This one is long one. Yes. Okay. This goes. Okay. This is Tomo. Tomo. And this is Shaki. This is what we call Shaki. Two ways. Okay. This is the end. Have you seen this? This is the end. This is the end. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. This is the end. We keep this cow here. We don't use small cow. Okay. This is the end. I have 800, close to 1 million that we are killing here. Wow. Have you seen this video? So, thank you for... Say the name of the park, in case, in, in case people want to come. The name, the name of the park. abattoir, this place. Okay. And this is Ojuero, this is Okay. This is Olibari, at Rodno Road. So, it's about the fair and So, if you want to buy me, Come and patronize us. Here. What's your name so people can my look for you? Name is Kukola. Ahmed Kukola. Yes, my daddy name is Agasar Rashid Kukola. <laughs> my guy name is Said Orobo Velo. He's Obo in Seyi. Yes, so phone me, number. It's Otawa Tifera. Oh my God. Yes, and my guy number is Kukola. Okay, so number of guys. I mean, my number is Kukola. My guy number is Kukola. All right, because you remember. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> The arbitrary slaughtering business in Lagos, Nigeria is a billion dollar business. So much money is invested into it by entrepreneurs. Contrary to public opinions that the meat sellers are looking untidy, they actually put in a lot of work to ensure neat meats are sold out to customers. For individuals who are curious to know what it takes to become a butcher in Lagos and run your own business, Mr. Bolaji here, who specializes in the sale of goats and its various parts, gives us an insight on how to gain entrance into the trade. It's the requirement to serve as an intern in the profession. 
And he said, you do not pay anything or bring anything. But upon graduation, you will be asked to bring certain things to show appreciation to your master. As an intern learning, you're given stipends daily to cover your feeding expenses and transportation. You're expected to run certain errands for your boss while he puts you through the business. And if you do anyhow, you feel chop beating alongside it. It is still part of the learning process. On the duration of learning, he said, it depends on how you have grasped all you've been taught. It could be five years, ten years, two years, a year, but according to your preference. After graduation, he said, you'll be given a section, a store to display your words and make some money if you choose to remain at the abattoir. So while learning, you'll be taught the different animals, how to identify them, how to negotiate, how to sell, how to sell out your words with good deals, and also how to interact with other people who are in the trade. They also belong to unions, and you're expected to pay fees to be a member of the union. For individuals who are passionate about selling and want to go into it, it's a good one. It's um, noble, it's honorable. You can go in there, learn, and set it up in your own way. You don't have to stay there if you do not wish to. But if you want to, like he said, they will give you a stall and give you all the support you need to be your own man. I don't think so many people have all this information. But he says, to start, all you have to do is come over to the abattoir, introduce yourself to the leaders, and you'll be assigned to someone who will be your mentor and you'll be his mentee. Afterwards, you stay according to your duration, according to your preference, and learn all you have to do. How you are convinced you've learned enough to set up your own thing, be your own boss, and make your own Nigeria, money. They are curious to see all these things. So when you post it, they don't have butcher, so even if they, they, they don't, don't see, they just, yeah, they just see. So when they see, even me, I'm... The day at the abattoir was fun, filled, I interacted with other people who came to buy uh, meat, came to buy their goat meat, came to buy their cow tail, and we all had fun. It was a rainy day, the whole market was flooded, messy, I had my feet all messed up. Yeah, it was slimy. In fact, someone had to hold my hand while, while on my way out, so I did not sleep down. It was not a funny experience, but I had fun going there to see where all of the meat would come from. This is one of the biggest abattoir in Nigeria, in Lagos 9. All right, guys, today... <laughs> Wait, stop, let me, let me see. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on today's episode. Bye!